For a long time, I've been asked about a way of syncing files between PC and the Steam Deck that's not overly complicated. And after a bit of setup, I think I found the perfect solution and also taking this a step further with having auto backups as well for save games, which then auto transfer to your PC. So obviously you can use this for just single files or folders, but I'm going to cover both options here. First off, you're going to need to switch over to desktop mode from the power menu on the Steam Deck and then open up the Discover Store and you want to install two applications from here, depending on what you're wanting to achieve. First off, you need to download something called Sync Thing. For some reason, even though this isn't a huge application, this actually takes quite a long time to install. So I'm actually going to install the second one while this is downloading. The second application that we're going to download is called Lulu Savvy. And I'll put the names for these in the description below so that you can pick these up. This will auto detect the games that you have installed and for supported games, it will auto map the save game folders so that you can back these up and restore previous save games, even if cloud save isn't supported. So first off, we're going to start with sync thing, which is sync thing GTK. So we're going to launch this once it's finished and run through the setup wizard. I'm not going to change the default settings at this time, but we do recommend that you do set up a username and password for your web UI later on so that that is secure on your network. So we're going to keep the setup on the default settings for now. And then we're going to run this and you'll see that this starts up a daemon and it's up to you whether you allow anonymous usage statistics or not. Now by default, it will just show the Steam Deck name and an offline default folder, which is all to be expected. Before I go into that, I'm going to set up Lulu Savvy so that we have the folder ready for backups. So opening up Ludo Savvy, this will automatically pick up a backup folder for you. And if you hit preview, it will auto detect all of the games that you have installed and their save folder paths. Unfortunately, this doesn't seem to support all Steam games, which we'll see later on. So if you do want to manage games that are not appearing here, you will have to either manually add their backup folders using the custom games or other sections here, or manually set up to the folder in sync thing. Now to get the folder, you do need to create at least one backup. So I've just unselected everything here and I'm just going to select one game and do a manual backup so that I've got my save game folder ready to put into sync thing. So there we go. I've just backed up one of the games and you'll see that folder be created. Now in sync thing, I want to add a shared folder. And I'm going to navigate to that Ludo Savvy backup folder that you just saw get created. And I'm going to call it Deck Save Games. And hit the browse button and update the path to the Ludo Savvy backup folder on my deck drive. I'm going to leave the rescan interval to 30 seconds. Nothing to share it with at the moment. And I do also want to ensure that this is set to send and receive. As you'll see by default, it's set to receive only. So you want to go into those folder options and make sure that send and receive is set. Now this is easier to navigate via the web UI, which I'll cover in a second. But once we've got that installed on the Steam Deck, we need to do the same thing on our desktop PC. So for that, you need to go to the sync thing website, hit downloads up at the top and then pick either sync thing Mac or Windows. So I'm going to run through the Windows setup here, which will take you to GitHub. And then you need to scroll down and select the download section, which will then give you a link up the top. Now I will directly link this page and hopefully it will be the latest release, but do check the GitHub downloads directory if this date is looking a bit old. So I'm going to download the windows.exe and you will get a warning running this, but it is verified. So you can run this without worry, but because this runs on your local network, it has some extra security getting flagged. Now, again, I'm going to leave the settings as default here, but if you are running some things on the port that is identified here, if you're running other manual things, then do tweak that. But otherwise I'm going to leave this and start syncing automatically when I log on. And I'm going to start it up when I open it, as well as adding a desktop shortcut for the web UI. It will ask you if you want to automatically create the Windows firewall rule. Yes, you do want to do this. Otherwise it will block you when you actually try to do the syncing. So I'm going to open up the web UI page because this makes things a lot simpler. 
And you can see that by default, that default folder is there and it's automatically created a syncing path for that folder. Then if I look on my Steam Deck, you can see that the Steam Deck is not shared by default and you will have an ID that you can see for your device authentication. So you can try and sync this up to ensure that they are the same. If you do this from the device itself on the Steam Deck, it's going to ask you to manually enter that device ID. It doesn't auto detect other devices on the network, which means you've got a lot of typing to do. So actually don't do it from here. Once you've got it set up on the Steam Deck, refresh the web UI page and say add device from the PC side. Obviously check the device ID on your device because when you do it on the PC side, when you click add remote device down in the bottom right hand side, it will detect nearby devices. So rather than entering that really long ID, we can just click that link down the bottom, making sure that it is the Steam Deck we're looking for and give it a name. Before we hit save, we need to check those sharing options because we don't want this to auto accept new folders as that will cause you some problems. So leave that off and default folder for sharing so that that is matched up and hit save. Then we want to add in the extra device so you can see that the Steam Deck OLED will show it's disconnected originally because you need to switch over to that device and accept the share. So it may take a few seconds for it to pop up. You can just restart the sync thing if you want it to be quicker and you might get this pop up twice. So accept. for some reason it takes a couple of times for it to actually go away. And I'm gonna say that I'm going to share both of those folders with that device and hit save. And then you'll see that it prompts a couple of times but it doesn't overwrite. And then once everything's sorted itself out, it will go green. And because I've shared an extra folder on the PC side, it'll ask if I want to accept this folder share now. The reason I said don't do the auto accept is because if you already have this folder that you want to match up on the PC, it will recreate the folder ID and map it to a different path and you can't change it. So make sure that you manually add any folders that you want to manually map as well. So you can see here that it is set to receive only. So I'm going to open up the web interface on the Steam Deck. And again, you can choose whether or not to allow anonymous reporting. So on Deck Save Games, I'm going to edit that to say, and click the edit button and change this to send and receive under folder type in the advanced menu so that I can sync back and forth with that. And then very importantly, under that open web interface, you need to check the port that it shows up the top. If that shows 8080, then it will conflict with Decky Loader as it uses the same port. So you will need to come into the GUI settings and change the port to 8084. This is a safe port to use as this is what SyncThing UI is supposed to use on Linux and Steam Deck to prevent those conflicts but sometimes it forgets. So if you haven't changed that GUI UI, when you switch back to the PC, you might have some issues with Decky Loader not working properly as well as sync thing not working either. So make sure you change that GUI port. Once back, we need to install the Decky Loader plugins. If you haven't got Decky Loader, then I have a separate guide for that in the description below. But if you want to just manage it all via desktop, then you can leave it there and manage the folders and backups on the desktop mode. If you do want to take it that step further though, then install the Decky Ludo Savvy and sync thing from the Decky plugins market. And as long as Decky Ludo Savvy was installed, that will automatically pick up in game mode. And in sync thing, we do need to do some extra setup. So run the start setup and select the installed via the sync thing GTK option during this process and it should start up and run through. If you hit this port option, it's because it didn't auto detect it. So then change that port to 8084 or whatever port that you set during that decky setup and then rerun the setup and it will run through and pick up those settings and start running in game mode. Now, for some reason I did run into a couple of issues for the Ludo Savvy plugin on near replicant version 1.22, etc. It says that this is an unknown game, so you would have to manually add this backup. 
So when you do this sync now, it has issues, even if you wanted to try and auto sync this. So you'd have to manually map that folder or add it as a custom game. And I also had the same issue with Spilled, which was a new game. So it obviously doesn't recognize that path yet. So do bear in mind that this isn't working for every game out of the box right now, but when it does work, it works fantastically well. Of course, sync thing is working exceptionally well. As you can see here, when the two work together, we get that auto backup perfectly fine. So there we have it. Sync thing is definitely the best way to be automatically syncing files between PC and Steam Deck. So you can just drag and drop at will. And if you want the game backups on top, then you have Ludo Savvy as well. Let us know in the comments below if you're going to be using these or if you have another solution. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.